This didn't happen to everybody. Right. How can the Bible apply to everybody when they didn't have yokes of iron on their neck? Right. When they didn't come over here on slave ships? That only happened to the black, the Spanish, and Native Americans. That's right. 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 We are the children of Israel. This is our history. So right. today, right. as we're going to celebrate black history, we got to open up this book and read it. But our people got to want to come back. They got to sit here and look, look around them and say, you know what? I don't like the state we're in. You understand? What you got? Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. Bring it up. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. A lot of people love to say they love God. Hey, they love to say that God is in my heart. I love the most high. I love God. I love Jesus. We do that every single day. We hear from our people all the time. Sure. But guess what? You're the only one standing right here right now. Read. You know, and with their lips do honor me. They do honor the Christ by saying I love him. But what? But have removed their heart far from me. They don't remove their mind far from the most high. Simple as that. They don't want to keep God's laws. They, they don't want to keep the things that are profitable to them. The what? things that give them knowledge and wisdom. They want to sit there and do what? This man said, this man told you, you ain't got to keep God's laws. Bring it right. You ain't got to do what the Most High say. Bring you can out. do your will. Right. That's what he told you. Guess what? You've been deceived, brother. You've been deceived. Now you told me you love God, right? Didn't you say that? So how are you going to show that you love God? Keep living life every day. Keep living life every day. Give me brute form one. I'm gonna show you what living your life every day does to a people that doesn't keep God's laws. Bring it up! Because you gotta understand, black people don't turn rap songs into a way of life. Bring it up! You understand? They said that we sit there and listen to music and think, hey, I'm late, hey, I'm living my life. I'm hey, what is it? YOLO. YOLO. Read this. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it up. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endureth forever. How long does these laws endure? Forever. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. All that keep God's law is going to come to life. Read. But such as leave it shall die. Uh, how you going to live your life? Shall die. You're going to die a horrible death. Right. That's how, and that's what's happening. When we sit there and get killed in these streets, you don't think that's of the most high? Huh? Most high did that. We, hey, we're going to prove that. Give me that in a second. We're going to prove that. The most high put our people to death. Read it up. Read it. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. Bring it up. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace. He does what? I make peace and create evil. He does what? And create evil. The most high does all those things, bro. So understand something. Oh, I, the Lord, do all these things. Who does all these things? I, the Lord, do all these things. You know, when death comes knocking at our door, we're going to realize that we died this horrible death. When all these things that come upon us, poverty, death, hey, all these things happen to us for one simple reason, that we don't like keeping God's laws. Bring it up. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 9. See, verse 39, see now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. He does what? I kill and I make alive. Brother, hey, we got to straighten up as men. We got to straighten up as men. And hey, I know that, hey, we wasn't never taught to be men. Give me first Kings chapter two. I know that we wasn't never taught how to be men. I didn't know how to walk as a man until I learned, hey, that I was an Israelite. To I started learning God's commandments. I was running around, hey, buck wild like everybody else. Every one of these men were. We all had to repent from the evil things that we was doing. That's right. You understand? We all, we all had to stand up off me and say, you know what? Am I going to be a follower or am I going to be a leader? You know. Am I tired of the condition that I'm living in or I want something better? Right. You know, are you married? But you will we'll be one day, right? You ain't. You have any children? You're going to want children one day, right? I wouldn't want to raise my children up in captivity. Right. I wouldn't want to raise my wife up in captivity. 
And plus, I'm going to have a wife, I would want to know how to lead her correctly. Right. This no. Bible, guess what? It's the instruction manual to life. Right, right. right. How we supposed to walk, how we supposed to carry ourselves, how we supposed to raise our children, how we should be ruling the other nations. Hey, as black men, guess what? We've been servants for so long, we are afraid of rulership. Bring it up. Because yeah. that's what it boils down to. Coming back to God's laws, we're going into rulership. This is the King James Version. The same one been sitting in your house the whole time. We ain't read not one book that you ain't heard of. Right. You heard of Isaiah. You heard of Revelation. You heard of Deuteronomy. We ain't came up nothing new. We just bringing the sense to the book. Right. That's why you wasn't taught the laws of God. That's what your uh, pastor's supposed to be teaching you, the laws of God. Correct? Didn't we bring that out? You ain't learned the laws of God. So guess what? Give me, hold, hold that. Give me uh, some um. 119 and 11. I mean, 111 is 10, my fault. Understand something. If you don't know the laws of God, you cannot get a good understanding of this Bible at all. You know? Read. Psalms chapter 111, verse 10. Bring it up. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So obviously, you fear God, right? And you open up the book and start reading, correct? That's why you got a little knowledge, right? Read. A good understanding. A good what? Understanding have all they that do his commandments. That does what? That do his commandments. So to have a good understanding of this Bible, brother, you've got to come back to God's commandments. That's, That's right. right. That's why you didn't know. That's why you said, hey, what book are you reading from? Because you don't have a good understanding of this Bible because you don't keep the laws. Remember, right. the Bible said, by us being uh, breaking God's laws, that's how we can defeat them. That's how we can take them in the captivity. You do realize that this is what the other nations came up with. Give me Psalms 83 and 2. I'm going to show you, this is the reason why they don't teach you this book. Because their history is their doom. By us coming back to the knowledge of God is the destruction of our enemies. Yeah. Read. Psalms 83 verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a... For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. So God has enemies. Can they do anything to God? But guess who they can do something to? The children of God. Right. Yes, no. And they that hate thee. They what? They that hate thee. They hate God. Why? Because he made these children right here his people. Right. He didn't choose the other nations. He chose them. And guess what? They hate that thing. Read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel. They did what? Have taken crafty counsel. What does it mean to take crafty counsel? They was plotting. You know how we say, hey, them brothers plotting on somebody? They plotted on us. How to keep us in sin. How to take us into captivity. How to destroy us as a people. Bring it out. Guess what? You know what they came up with? It's called religion. Bring it out. It's called democracy. You understand? It's called White Jesus. This is crafty counsel. Teach. Read. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. They said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Guess what? When I ask, when we ask our people what's their nationality, guess what? They don't know. So would you say we've been cut off from being a nation? Yes, we don't know our nationality now. Now we say black. Let me let me uh, let me uh, help y'all to something, people. Black is a color in a crayon box. Right. You understand? Black is the color of a crayon box. It is not a nationality. Yeah. Read. Look it out. That the name of Israel that may the name of what? That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. They didn't want you to know that you're the children of Israel. They did not want you to know that you're the Israelites. Bring and that up. is the reason that we're here today. To bring back to your memory that who you are, that you are the children of God. Right. Black right. history should be remembering your history. Right. Guess right. what? This Bible is your history book. Right. It is the answer to all your problems. Right. It is the answer to the problems of our communities. Right. How we will come off drugs. How we can stop abortion, how we can stop gang violence. Bring it up. This is the answer to all of our problems. 
So when our people say, hey, all we gotta do is come together, guess what? You gotta come together on one accord and keep God's laws. Right. That's, right. That's something we ain't never tried. All we ever did was go sing in the churches, sing songs, and hey, our people know more songs than they know Bible verses. Right. If, all, if you add up all the songs in they, that they know in church, I guarantee you, outside John 3.16, they doomed. Bring it up. If I said, give me uh, five Bible verses right now, we'll be delivered out of captivity, we'll be stuck for another hundred years. We'll be stuck for another hundred years because our people couldn't quote five Bible verses. Bring it up. But they know about 50 Drake songs. Bring it up. Bring it up. Word for word. Word for word. Bar for bar. But if I ask our people who they are, they don't know. Sis, let me ask you a question. What's your nationality according to the Bible? According to the Bible, I do not know. You do not know? Guess what, sis? Yes. Give me John 8.32. I'm going to give you a Bible verse. The most I said, hey, this is prophecy being fulfilled today. You understand? I'm going to give you a Bible verse. And if you listen to what God is saying, he's going to answer your problem. Read. John chapter 8. Verse 32, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Most High said, you're going to know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Guess what? Come down here, and I'm going to show you your nationality. I'm going to show you what our enemies had held uh, from our people for the last 400 years. Bring it out. Okay, guess what? I'm going to show you. The Quran and some other books also from around the world, but thank you so hey, much. Hey, check this out. But you don't know your nationality. Well, I'm yeah. asking something. You said according to the Bible. Right. Let me ask you something. What What do you think your nationality is? Oh, I know what my nationality what is, is. I was actually born in the United States of America, but I come from the roots of Africa. Where in Africa, I absolutely know. Do not have an idea. More than likely from West Africa, but not necessarily. I could be from anywhere. Hey, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what you just said in the Bible. All right? Watch this. I us coming over here. Us coming over here on... Uh, in captivity, oh, you say you can't, uh, you, your roots come from Africa, right? Yes. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word Egypt means bondage, house of bondage. He said, I'm going to bring you into bondage or slavery this time with what? With ships. Three. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning you wouldn't see your homeland again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You'll be sold to who? Your enemies. To your friends. Your enemies. Read. For bondmen. For slave men. And bondwomen. Slave woman. Read. And no man shall buy you. That's an old Quaker word meaning no one shall redeem you out of your captivity. Did that not happen to us? Bring it out. Uh, I did one too. Exactly. Watch this. Individually, we can become out. Watch, watch this. Thank one, you so much. One last verse. One okay, last verse. I'll give you one last verse. Isaiah you. chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. God is talking to our people. He's saying, He's comparing our people to two animals. Watch this. The ox knoweth his owner. He said, The ox knows who his owner is. And the ass his master's crib. He said, he said The jackass knows where his home is at. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. Israel is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We right. are the Israelites. This right. Bible right. is the history book of our people, right. written by right. our ancestors, by our God, the God of Israel, for us in these last days, so we can rise up and come up out of captivity. Right. 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 But you. Israel doth not know. Our people don't know who they are. Let's go about African American, black. Colored. They say they're Asiatic black men. We come up with all these things to suffer for the children of Israel. Right. My people doth not consider. And they don't even consider. They want to walk on by. They think this information was not written for them. Bring God out. gave his, hey, have these things written in a book for our learning. Bring hey, sis, do you know that you're an Israelite according to God? Do you know how we can prove that? Give me Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you how to prove that, sis. Because guess what? Hey, we got many people, many pastors, churches. Hey, they hold up this book and teach from it. Or claim they teach from it. But guess what? They never actually tell us how to get into the kingdom of heaven. Bring they never out. actually tell us who we are, why we're here, and why we're going through the conditions that we go through. They never tell us the solution for our people. 
Get out. Guess what? The Most High is sending prophets out today so you can get solutions to how to come out these conditions. Wait, hold that. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because what I'm going to do is show you that you are an Israelite according to the Bible. Understand something. We're going to read Deuteronomy 21, and uh, this is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses is speaking to all Israel. So I'm giving you uh, where we at in this book. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So what was saying was, hey, if you keep my commandments, you know, you keep my rules, you keep my laws, then I will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. Is that equality, sis? No. You say I'm going to do what? Set thee on high above all nations of earth. So he said, I'm going to set you above all nations of the earth. Understand, there was 18 nations in the Most High created. He said, I'm going to set you above all the nations. You're going to be the chief ruler. You're going to rule these nations. And I'm going to give you these law, statute, and commandments so you can rule these nations. Yeah. This Bring is the out. wisdom that you're going to use to govern the world. Bring it out. All right, so he said, hey, if you do this, all these things, hey, you're going to be in rulership. And what will happen? Verse 10. Verse 10. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. They're going to be afraid of us because why? The Most High fights for us when we're keeping his laws. Right. Just like if you got a children, your children doing what you're saying, they, hey, they following your rules in your house. Hey, somebody do something to your child, you know the black woman is going to go off. Right. They finna go off and you ain't going to be able to stop them. So right. understand something. When we are obedient to the Most High God, hey, he cuts down all nations that come against his children. Right. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? There's a flip side to happen. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses. He said, if you don't do what I'm telling you, he said, all these curses, all these great evils are going to do what? Shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. So he said, all these curses gonna come over thee and overtake thee. Read the next verse. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Are we in the city of Columbia? Are we cursed? Are we at the bottom of society in the ghettos right now? You know. He said, cursed shall we be in the city. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. He said, cursed shall we be in the field. Were we not cursed in those cotton fields, tobacco fields, sugar cane? Hey, we've been cursed, are we not? Give me verse 41. 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. He said, Our sons and daughters shall be given to another people. Since so you came down here, you can see on these signs where our children were being sold into slavery. Did that not happen to us? Remember, Moses is speaking to all to, uh, the nation of Israel. He said, all these curses is going to come upon thee and overtake thee. Give me Bring verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So he said, because you did not keep my law, statute, and commandments, he said, guess what? If you don't want to serve me, I'm going to let you serve your enemies. Bring Bring it out. Out. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent our enemies against us? Which the Lord shall send against thee. So these nations weren't more powerful than us. They just had the most high on their side now are going against us as a punishment. Read. In hunger. So guess what? Now you got to go to your enemies for food. Because do, uh, do we own uh, the food uh, stores, the food industry? Right, right. Do any of my people own that? Our enemies own that, right? Read. And in thirst. So who controls the water system? Does it not our enemies? Bring it out. Read. And in nakedness. So they own all the textile uh, industry, right? To, to make our clothing, right? Read. And in want of all things. If you want to, hey, if you want to get married, sis, do you not got to go to your enemies? If you want an education, don't you got to go to your enemies? Hey, toilet paper, you got to go to your enemies. Watch this last part, sis. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Uh, Guess what? The so-called black man, 
Black woman, guess what? Our history is in this Bible. He right, said we right. shall have a yoke of what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Most High put us in slavery. He put those yokes of iron upon our neck because we just, uh, refused to come back to his laws. Yeah. This is a punishment by the Most High God. You understand? And he did what? Give me verse 68. Let me, hey, let me ask you, did anybody ever teach you why we got here to America? Why we came over here? Yeah, but why? Because we didn't keep God's law. Guess who brought us here in slavery? The Most High God. Uh -uh. Most High God did. We. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, we sitting there thinking, hey, we hear the word Egypt. As black people, we have never really broke down this Bible and studied it correctly. And we don't understand that the Bible defines itself. I'm going to show you what the word Egypt means. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What is it called? Out of the house of bondage. The word Egypt means house of bondage. Bring What's out. another word for bondage, sis? Slavery, correct. So let's go back. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt, or slavery, again with ships. With what? With ships. Now, black people are known throughout this whole world of being the only people that went into slavery on slave ships. Hey, that is synonymous by our history. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again. That it was our homeland. Let me ask you one simple question, sis. Where is our homeland? What part of Africa? So I'm going to show you. Guess what? The Bible tells us where we're from. Because, you know, we always say Africa, which is a big continent. And many, many countries are in Africa. But guess what? The Bible tells us where our homeland is at. Read it out. Galatians chapter 4 verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. It's the what? The mother of us all. That's the motherland. Oh, that's that's right. Right. Our homeland, Israel, is the motherland. Right. This is what they won't teach us in the churches. They Bring will not out. teach us the truth. They will not teach us where we're from, who we are, so we can correct the problems that's afflicting our people today. Bring it out! Come back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out! And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Into slavery. Again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning we will never see our homeland again until what? Christ returns. Read. And there... Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. To who? Your enemies. That's the reason why they don't teach you the Bible. Yes. The Bible condemns our enemies, the things that our enemies have done to us. This will bring their destruction on. But so guess out. what? Our pastors are in there teaching for money. They're not teaching us the truth. Because why? The truth speaks against our enemies. Right. And hey, what nation... Put us on those slave ships, sis. Yes, America, which is operated by who? The so-called white men, right? Read. Your, the, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave woman. Read. And no man shall buy you. He said, no man shall redeem us out of our captivity. Why? Give me verse 48. Bring it up. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord oh, shall... 47. Verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because we wouldn't do the things that he commanded us, because he said this is a command. He, ain't, he didn't say this is a suggestion. You know, do what you want to do. He said this is a command. This is the, That's your daughter. Can your daughter tell you what she's going to do? No. Guess what? We couldn't do that either. Yes. But our people think they got the freedom to do what they want. Bring it out. No. Hey, guess what? You got the freedom here to do what you want. But you better believe there's going to be consequences, right? That's right. right. And we paying the price for it right now. Choices are life-changing and long 
Right. Some total of our license, the choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Free. Hey, what? The freezer burger. That was it. That was it. Right? 47. 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because he promised us, hey, a land of milk and honey, rulership of this earth. He said, I'm going to protect you. I'm gonna, hey, you, you're going to be my uh, children. I'm going to be your God. And I'm going to love you forever. All you got to do is keep my commandments. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Now we don't want to serve God. Now we got to serve our enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent our enemies against us? Which the Lord shall send against thee. It ain't because they're smarter, stronger than us. It's because the Most High sent them uh, against us. Read. In hunger. So now, that food that you're eating, guess where you had to get it from? Your enemies. Read. And in thirst. In thirst, hey, they control all the water system, right? Read. And in nakedness. The clothes on our back. They control all the uh, cotton industry and, and all the uh, manufacturing companies that make the clothes, right? Bring it up, And in want of all things. In the want of what? In, in want of all things. If you want a marriage license, you got to go to your enemies. You right. want education, you got to go to our enemies. Right. In the want of all things. You can't name one thing that we can not uh, we can get without having to go to our enemies. Bring right. it up. Hey, this is a book. This is the Holy Bible. Speaking yeah. to us today, telling us what has been hidden from us for generations. Oh, you know. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He'll do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Guess what? We're supposed to sit there now and say, you know what? This happened to our people. Right. This didn't happen to everybody. Right. How can the Bible apply to everybody when they didn't have yokes of iron on their neck? When right. they didn't come over here on slave ships? That only happened to the Black, the Spanish, and Native Americans. That's so right, right. We are the children of Israel. This is our history. So to, hey, as we're going to celebrate Black history, we got to open up this book and read it. That's, That's right. 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 That's, hey, this is how you celebrate Black history, by going back and remembering our forefathers, remembering why we're here. And guess what? He's going to show you how to come out these conditions. Amen. Take a brother with a whole lot of love. Uh, hey, sis, let me ask you one question before yeah. you go. What's going on? Yeah. What is sin? Disobedience. To what? Witchcraft. I'm going to show you what sin is according to the Bible. Because understand, I guarantee you, you know the way to sin is what? Right. So the payment of committing sin is death. Now, do you want that payment? Then you want, you got to know what sin is. We cannot keep walking around this earth ignorant to what the Most High is telling us. I'm going to show you what to, uh, disobedience too, because it got to be disobedience to something. You can't tell your daughter. You can't tell your daughter. Yeah, but what? But you Think about this right here. If you told your daughter, hey, if you're disobedient to me and don't tell her what to do, she's going to be like, what? Mama, what am I getting punished for? She ain't going to know. She's going to her higher power. But guess what, though? If she didn't know she was an Israelite, she didn't know that we came over here on slave ship, why would she know God's word? Get up. Did you know that you were an Israelite? Yes. What tribe? Tribe of Judah. All praise Let me ask you something. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to show you what sin is. What sin? The book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 4. Get up. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So whoever commits sins breaks God's law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. So let me ask you something. Can you know God without uh, uh, by breaking, um, without keeping his laws? Can you know God? No. Exactly. Give me first John uh, 32. His word and him are one. I'm going to show you two things right quick. Two things in here. Trust me. You know what? I, so I'm, I'm going to just show you that you're right what you just said. First John 32. Oh, two or three. Book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3. Bring it out. And hereby we do know that we know him. Hey, we do know that we know most high by what? If we keep his commandments. How many commandments are there, sis? 613. Read. Verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. This is what God is saying. He said, those that say I know that know me, I got God in my heart, I love God, but don't keep my commandments, he said they're a liar. Hey, sis, we was not taught this book. 
I'm going to show you a law that we was not taught. This is for your good because we love you. We've got to understand something. We want to see our people. We want to you know what love is according to the Bible? Keeping God's commandments. That's right. So guess what? I'm going to give you a commandment that, hey, we were not taught by our pastors. Our leaders failed our people. You understand? That's why we're still in slavery. Because we've been failed as a people by our leaders. And guess what? God is sending prophets out today to show you why we're in the midst of sin, why we're in this condition, and how to come out. So here's one of the laws as a woman, as a, uh, any female should know. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. You know? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. He said a man, uh, man shouldn't put on a woman's garment because if we were sitting up here with all dresses teaching the Bible, you'll look at us like we was crazy, would you not? I'm saying, it, keep in mind, God is telling you, he said a, a man should not wear that which pertains to a woman. So if we were sitting up here wearing dresses, would we be in error? We'll be in the midst of sin, right? Look what he said about the sin. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Can you get into the kingdom committing abominations? Of course not. So read it from the top of this. Verse 5, Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Yo. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do women wear today that wear a pertain to man? Pants. So guess what, sis? Where there's a law, guess what? There's punishment for breaking that law. Let's see what the punishment is. Because, hey, we got to understand something. The Most High is not playing with us. By him, put, think about it, he put his children in slavery. Look at all of the atrocities that happened to us in slavery. That lets you know that he, hey, when he tells us to do something, he means it. Read. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 8. Read out. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is judgment day. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. That's us, right? We're the children of the Most High, right? The Israelites, read. And all such that are clothed with strange apparel. So he said, I'm going to put them to death that are clothed in strange apparel. So all women wearing pants, he said, I'm going to put to death. Hey, our men dressed in feminine, guess what? They're going to get put to death. So guess what? We have to repent from those sins. How do you repent? By turning away from it, right? So guess what? The woman's supposed to wear modest apparel. She's supposed to wear a dress. You understand? So guess what? You got our flyer? Hey, on our flyer, we got a website. On the back of that website, uh, you'll see we, hey, we got videos on there. More videos you can possibly imagine. Hey, check those videos out. Start learning. We got a school on Greg Street where we teach our people the laws of God, how they can return back to the Most High God. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino teens. A 12 year old black boy was shot area. and killed outside. A young black a woman who was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black was man was shot and killed in the car. Just three days after the, the back police seat. placed her. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake, wake up. up.
it so hard to serve God And why would I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's our man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.